Hi, standing waves superposition. Now, this lecture goes beyond the GCSE course, but it's included for completeness and to help you with some of the ideas that we're going to see in the next lectures about electricity. Now, whenever you have waves of the same frequency crossing backwards and forwards over each other, you can set up a standing wave. Now, how common is it to have travelling waves of the same frequency crossing backwards and forwards over each other? Well, it's very common. If you look at the guitar string, um, you have a wave travelling down the string, gets reflected at the end, where the string is at the nut or at the bridge, and so you get the wave reflected on top of itself, and um, you can set up a standing wave. Now, here we have a wave travelling to the right, and here we have a wave travelling to the left, and each of these columns represents a different time interval. So this is the first time interval, this is later in time, this is later still, and this is the latest. Now, how do we know that this wave is travelling to the right? Well, let's look at this peak. First, this peak is before the middle, then it's at the middle, then it's just after the middle, and then it's at the edge. So we can clearly see that this peak is travelling to the right. How do we know that this wave is travelling to the left? Well, let's look at this trough. This trough is past the middle, then it's at the middle, then it's before the middle, then it's at this edge. So we can clearly see that this wave is going to the right and this wave is going to the left. Now, how do we add these waves up? We use the principle of superposition to get the combined wave. Now, these waves are what we call in phase. They're in the same place in their wave cycle, so we say they're in phase. And when they add up, you get constructive superposition and you get a larger waveform. Now, these two waves are the opposite. They're in antiphase. So they get so when they add up, you get destructive superposition and you end up with no wave at all. Now here the waves are in phase again, and so we get another large wave, and here they're in antiphase again, so we get no wave at all. So rather than a travelling wave, we're getting a thing called a standing wave. The standing wave is larger than the travelling waves that make it, and it does not move through the medium. Instead, you have points like this point here, there's a point at each end and a point in the middle, which are called nodes, and these do not move at all. And between the nodes, you have things called antinodes, where the disturbance is maximum. So what happens is this Antinode here vibrates up to the top and then it vibrates down to the bottom and this one vibrates down to the bottom and then it vibrates up to the top and so on but the wave does not travel through the medium it vibrates up and down in place. Now a guitar string which is fixed at both ends which means both ends are nodes has different frequencies of standing waves which may exist on it. This is the simplest and that's the one that you use um, but these other ones are also possible. Okay, so that's a brief explanation of standing waves. Thank you.